Yeah. I'm asking you, are you a true believer? <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Neon Radio. I'm Reese, And I'm Dan. Look like an idiot. <laughs> and this week we're doing The Christmas Chronicles. On Christmas Eve, brother and sister Kate and Teddy Pierce plan to catch Santa Claus on camera. I'm benotes that their decisions will take them on an adventure all across the world with St. Nick. How good is Kurt Russell? Kurt Russell's really good. <laughs> I know, think- <laughs> when I first saw him, I'm thinking, bring back Big Trouble in Little China. It's, it's weird because every time I see Kurt Russell in anything, the movie just goes up. Like, it's better for having Kurt Russell in it. It's true. Even, like, Hateful Eight. Yeah, he has a lot of screen presence. He does, That's what I noticed. Like, and he owns it. And that suit looks so sick. Yeah, it looks really cool. Yeah, yeah like, the, you like the beard. The beard. Oh, yeah, it's like they've painted the, the white curls. They've highlighted something in there. It looks really, really amazing. I don't know. It, I'd like to know. That's something I should have looked up, so I apologize. But I would have liked to have known if that's his real beard, because that is, it can't be. No, I don't think that it looks is. amazing. It's though. So like if good. that is, if that's whoever's done the the makeup work yeah. has done a really good job. It's on the like beard. a wannabe hipster beard. Yeah, <laughs> you can see like making a, making coffees or something, or like a biker beard. Yeah, a bike, yeah. Like, it's, it's really awesome. good. Yeah, and um, like the whole design of his suit, the leather instead of. Yeah, uh, like, I noticed that. Yeah, like, like a, a like soft, a, like look. a cloth thing. Yeah, like it. a cloth thing. Yeah, the yeah. leather makes more sense yeah. since it's, it's like the wet. Yeah, it's really yeah. good. It's like a um, and the fur, the fur. Yeah, it's it's like a sci-fi version of a or a modern day version of Santa Claus. Yeah, which they say that in a movie anyway. Like it's he hasn't got the big garden. Yeah, yeah. There's, is, there's, yeah. there's a lot to be uh, loved about mm. the design choices. Yeah. Um, uh, but the movie does have some weird moments in it which uh, kind of divert from the plot. Yes. And that is maybe its biggest flaw. Mm. I personally didn't have a problem so much with a, a specific uh, song piece in it, <laughs> but uh, both of my co-hosts did. It wasn't good. <laughs> it wasn't good. For you, it wasn't good. <laughs> totally not needed. There's actually there's like two or three scenes in this that you could cut out of the movie because it goes for like an hour and 40. And when these scenes come up, it's like, why are they doing this? Mate, I had a jolly rockin' jailhouse time yeah, it's, with the song. I don't man, I'm... There's, the, yeah, the, the second scene... that one one on this. Without, without spoiling the film, there's one scene that involves uh, a jailhouse rock song. Yeah. Uh, Christmas style. Mm. And then there's another scene that has a bunch of thugs. And... The thug scene was so boring. So bad. Actually, the only payoff part, I'm not, I'm not really spoiling it, but they do get blocks of coal in the presents. Yeah, that, that was, was the funnest That was part. fun. Yeah. 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 That was pretty cool. Um, but um, other than that, yeah, it was totally not yeah. applied. Everything happening between then was really cool. Yeah. Well, uh, without yet again spoiling anything. Yeah. Um, we do get moments and like glimpses of mm. uh the North Pole and locations in the North Pole, yeah. and that's what yeah. is intriguing. Yeah. Uh, yet again, the design in those things are really cool. Yeah, yeah. There's um, there's a scene in there. It's I think it's called the Hall of Letters. So where you write a letter to Santa, it goes yeah. into this room. Yeah. It looks like a like a big library. Yeah. Um, but the way it's designed, it's really cool. Yeah. The the, the these are the me- the mechanics of the of the um like a chairlift. It goes around this wall of. Of, of letters, yeah. yeah, the wood grain and and just it just really the, looks really cool. It looks, looks warm. believable. Yeah. It looks like some uh, you know like it's lit by a fireplace or warm light, and because yeah. of that, it feels like Santa Claus. It feels like a yeah, it feels like a Santa's like, a like Christmas, Santa's house. Or something yeah, like, like yeah. A, a log cabin almost. Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of what what gives it that you know it, that good feeling. Yeah. Um. Even like the the film does have uh, a, a good basis. With uh, a, a specific character at the very start of the yeah, film, the, the father, uh, a father figure yeah. that passes away, mm-hmm. and that is that's the start, the first five minutes, not even. Yep. And that uh, brings us along our journey with our main characters. Yeah. And that's sadly it goes down from there for me. Yeah. For you, it was like, yeah. well, this is the thing: some of the characters uh, really grow, and other characters don't grow at all. No. And that that's a problem. Mm. Uh, it's fine. Oh, there's, you there's, can have characters that don't grow. Yeah. I think Jack just, Sparrow is a good character yeah, that never grows. That's true. But I, th- I think this movie has a lot of issues 
that they they should have fixed. We have Chris Columbus coming on for the second film. Yep. He's the original director of the first two Harry Potter films. Mm. So of high, high hopes. Yeah, higher hopes for the yep. the second movie at least. Yeah. Um, yeah. There is another moment, and I, I want to ask you, Dan, are you a true believer? Well, judging by this movie, I think there's a flaw. <laughs> That's the biggest flaw. But I'll say, I'm asking you, are you a true believer? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I haven't been a true believer since about seven years old. <laughs> just to let yeah. you know. Can we There's just, a big flaw. Huh? Yeah, there is a flaw. Look, I don't know, this is going to give away. It's going to give away the movie. It's hard to talk about this without giving it away. No, but- no, no. Because there's the idea of it, it, it won't give it away. Santa Claus leaves, leaves presents yeah. to kids. And then the idea is you're either a true believer or you're not. But if you find presents randomly in your household... You have to be a true believer, even if you're an adult, yeah. because it's just a the, random present in your house. Because in the movie, they got these random presents, but <laughs> nothing said, but the whole movie's based on being a true believer or not. It's like, what the hell? See, I, I tried to justify this with Santa Claus still being a magical presence that doesn't exist and parents still leaving, uh, you know, presents for the kids. Yeah. But then at the end of the movie, he does leave a present and the mother acknowledges, goes, oh, who left that? I haven't seen that present before. And you have a moment where you're like... Yeah, but she, no, she did, yeah, but she doesn't say that. Yeah. She doesn't say anything. It's like they already know that there's Santa Claus there. Yeah. It just so, doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah. It, it definitely uh, uh, goes against itself. Yeah. But, so, yeah. But, you know, at the end of the day, look, in all honesty, this is a Christmas film yeah. and it doesn't do wrong by being a Christmas film. No. You just got to take, um, it, take it as what it is. It has a lot of padding mm. and that might be it's a problem. I didn't mind the padding too much. I didn't like the thug stuff. I didn't mind the song stuff. Dan didn't like either. Didn't like the thugs. Didn't like. I just the song. They should have. I think they should have kept the whole um, father something. They should have put more into that yeah. with a bit of Santa Claus and more of Santa Claus um, going into people's pasts. Well, that yeah, and going, be, you know, cool, like yeah. you know, I remember you when you were a kid, and I remember you mm. with like I remember you wanted this toy. Do you remember when you did that? Yeah, you're naughty. You're yeah. nice. That was really cool. Well, he, as well. he should be more of a, more of a the, the gel between the father, liking his dad. Yeah, back. yeah. I think that would have worked much better. Yeah, stronger film. Yeah, yeah. And as, as for like you know the film's look, CGI was great as well. Yeah, it was, the, it was quite good. The little uh, little gremlins. Yeah, the gremlin. Yeah, the, the elves. gremlin elves. Gremlins or the elves? <laughs> I don't know, man. They look very, <laughs> very similar, like Magui gremlins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but they were cute. Yeah, my yeah. nine-year-old son, he he enjoyed it. So that, that's I think that's yeah. the the market it's going for. Pretty much. Yeah. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Look, it's um, it's an okay movie for me. It's a six out of ten. Uh, I think kids. Between ages five to fifteen, I think. Yeah, I think I th- you could do fifteen. Yeah, especially if the fifteen-year-olds watch like Escape from New York. Oh yeah, oh, you know what I mean. So yeah. like, if yeah. they watch that and they like Kurt Russell all of a sudden, yeah. and you give this to them, they'll be like, "All right, it's pretty, pretty cool." Yeah. If look, if you're a Kurt Russell fan, I think you're gonna like this straight away. Yeah. Um. But yeah, look, six out of ten. I'll probably watch it again. So I think that's a decent score for it. Yeah. When when we were talking about the film, I actually had a high score for it, a seven. And then, oh, you did the old. Track. I, I I quite liked it, but with the flaws that we we presented, uh, it did kind of show that the movie isn't as good as what I thought. Mm. But that doesn't mean I didn't enjoy it. I thoroughly enjoyed the film, and mm. I think as a Christmas film, go out and watch it. I yeah, think it's, it's lots okay. of fun, mm. and I I don't think a parent's going to be super bored by it. I think if you like yet again, if the parent knows Kurt Russell and likes Kurt Russell stuff, you probably yeah. will be fine to watch it. Yeah, I'm giving this a six and a half out of ten. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and to check out Spoil Radio Podcasts for more in-depth, spoil-filled reviews. Also, follow us on Instagram and Facebook under Neon Radio Reviews just to see what we're up to next. Also, we respond to all direct messages, so tell us, what movie do you want us to review next? Thanks for watching this week, and Dan, can you take us out? Ho, ho, ho. He doesn't say that.